Hello again everyone and welcome back to spoiler season. Day 5 here, we've had a bit of a weird drop today, kind of unexpected. Not like Echo Bosses or Relics or Combat Masteries that we were anticipating information for. Today's update is all about components and rare items that are created from them. For example, the Avernic Defender is an item that you can't usually get as an item drop. You instead get the Avernic Hilt and you attach that to the Dragon Defender, which makes the Avernic Defender. The Avernic Hilt would come from Mauritania and the Dragon Defender would come from Asgarnia, requiring both regions to create the Avernic Defender. Now, you will get an Avernic Defender from Theatre of Blood instead of the Hilt, meaning you don't need the Dragon Defender at all anymore, you don't need Asgarnia. And the same is true for all other items with components that make them, that have like combinations with other regions. They're trying to make it so you don't need different regions to use component items, you just get the item instead. Uh, another great example, the Desert Treasure 2 bosses. Each of them usually gives you a vestige, which is then chiseled into a sigil and then combined with a different sigil and a ring that comes from the Dagonoth Kings to create the actual ring that you want. The Magus Ring, the Bellator, Ultor, Venator. Now you just get those ring drops instead of the vestiges from the relevant DT2 bosses, which means that you don't need Desert for it and you don't need Fremenic, you just need the region that the boss is actually in and you can get yourself one of those very nice rings off the base. So I'm going to go over them all here, I just wanted to sort of give those examples to explain what this is because it's a bit of an unorthodox reveal. There's no video accompanying it or anything. So yeah, it's a pretty cool update. Certain areas definitely stand to benefit from it more than others, but we'll go through them all here. And they've released this sort of image here, which is somewhat helpful, but it's not entirely clear because there's a lot of stuff that's just normal on here. The only things we actually want to look at is these little yellow borders around items, which mean drop is adjusted. The purples are the echo items that are new anyway. Everything else is just regular drops. We're looking for the little yellow outline here. I guess if we just do them one by one, that might make it easier. In Mistlin and Karamdra, actually, these have both been combined. The only thing that's changed is the tormented synapse slash emberlite. Uh, emberlite is now just a drop that's available from those and the tormented synapse will also have its option changed so that you can craft it into any the components, the purging staff or the bow. Just by clicking on it, it'll have a new option available for it. So cool, you won't need Zaya for the emberlite and you can use your synapse for any of its components. Of course, still not sure how you're actually going to get to Tormented Demons, but I'm sure they'll reveal that in good time. If we go down to the desert, you'll see the Leviathan has the bulk of the changes here. Though they have also included the raid Mega Rares in these outlines, so all of the raids do show up. Those additional Mega Rares from the other raids as a, an orange outline too. But the Leviathan is the main one. As I mentioned here, we've got the Venator ring dropping instead of the Vestige. You'll also see all four of the Soul Reaper axe pieces. How these are gonna work, all of the Desert Treasure 2 bosses will drop all four components for the Soul Reaper Axe in order. So you'll get one and then the next one, then the next one, then the next one from any boss. You don't need all of them. And yeah, as I said, the Mega Rares there also included, plus the DT2 rings. Uh, over here in Taranwin next to it, you'll see that the Magic Fang is now dropping as a Toxic Trident of the Swamp. There is a full list below, but very cool. You won't need Kandarin for that anymore, so it adds some mage power to, to Ranwin as a region, really, which it didn't have any of. Like, it had zero mage without this, so it's very cool to, to have that bonus on there. Corrin is probably the region that benefits the most from this. Got those red mega rares as mentioned, and we've got the Kodai wand without needing wand from the desert. Instead of getting a Kodai insignia and attaching it to a master wand, you'll just get the Kodai wand in the chest now. So very nice mage wand available from that raid there. And also the alchemical hydra has three different items that are all affected by this change. We got the bone crusher necklace here that would usually require Mauritania and Fremenic. 
and Torrent. Now, just dropping, very cool. Ferocious Gloves for the best in slot melee hand slot, pretty cool. Don't need to combine those with other regions now. And the Dragon Hunter Lance as well for an awesome Dragon Bane weapon. Definitely going to be relevant if you're in Corrand, given the fact that Ohm is there. So yeah, Corrand gets four items from this, and if you count the Soul Reaper Axe as one, other regions get two at most, I think. Oh, Frem's not bad either. And then in Mauritania, as mentioned, we got the Raid Mega Rares, plus the Avernic Defender instead of just the Hilt dropping. Araxor is also going to be dropping the new Amulet fully, rather than in pieces, so you won't need the Zenite version to get that. And the Grotesque Guardians will drop the Guardian Boots as well, as opposed to the Black Tourmaline Core that would usually need to be combined with Bandos Boots. Alright, the Wilderness has absolutely zero changes, and as Garnia has the Desert Treasure 2 stuff, we've got the, uh, I think that's the, is that the Bellator Ring there? And then the Soul Reaper Axe pieces, plus Cerberus is able to drop the Eternal Boots instead of the Eternal Crystal, meaning you won't need Desert to make those. And the final few here, Kandarin has absolutely zero changes, we don't need to worry about that. Fremenic gets an Ancient Scepter from Mosper. Very cool upgrade to the Ancient Staff that no longer requires Desert, and it might be especially relevant if you have the Arcane Grimoire Relic that allows you to switch onto the Ancient Spellbook without Desert. It'll be nice to be able to get this here. And then we've got the Soul Reaper Axe pieces and the Magus Ring from Duke Succulus. And then finally, Valamore gets the Echo Boots instead of the Echo Crystal from the Fortis Coliseum. And then, yeah, the DT2 stuff, the Axe pieces, and the Ultra Ring, best in slot. Melee strength bonus. So some extra melee coming in for, for Valamore here alongside these updates. So to go through the list just in full, Guardian Boots from Grotesque Guardians, Amulet of Rancor from Araxor, Dragon Hunter Lance, Ferocious Gloves, and Bone Crusher Necklace now dropping from the Alchemical Hydra. Cerberus drops the Eternal Boots, and Zora drops an uncharged Toxic Trident. Leviathan drops the Venator Ring, the Whisperer drops the Bellator Ring, Bardovis drops the Ultor Ring, and Succulus drops the Magus Ring. Colosseum can give you the Echo Boots, the Avernic Defender can be obtained in Theatre of Blood, Chambers of Zeric gives you the Kodai Wand. These ones I don't think were on the list, but Adamant and Rune Dragons? Were they on that list? They're not on that list, so there are some extra ones in here, I'm glad I went through these. We got the Dragon Kite Shield, and the Dragon Plate Body now dropping in Fremenic without needing Kandarin as well. Very cool. I was talking to somebody about those in the comments the other day, so I'm sure they'll be happy to see that. And then the Ancient Scepter, as I mentioned. There's a few other clarifications. We've got the Raid Mega Rare thing. We've got the Soul Reaper Axe thing that I already mentioned. Dragon Pickaxes obtained via Volcanic Mine Ore Packs will come repaired already. There'll be a regular dragon pickaxe available from the volcanic mine. So that means everyone can access that regardless of their regions because it's in Mistelin. Usually you would have to go to Asgania to repair it, but get it already. So that's a very nice upgrade to have and a chance to loot a dragon haster rather than a broken dragon haster from the brimstone chest in Corrand. We've also got the tormented synapse change that I mentioned earlier, allowing you to convert it into an embolite scorching bow purging staff immediately. And that's all there is to this one. We've got this somewhat helpful graphic and a lot of new stuff. I do think Corrand benefits the most, like I say, because they get four whole items from it. Fremenic gets the next most at two. I'm not counting the raid mega rares here. Sorry, Fremenic has three. Mauritania has three as well. But some things just don't stand to benefit at all, like the Wilderness or Kandarin. They're just unaffected by this change, which kind of sucks for them. Yeah, definitely an interesting one. It could open up some more possibilities in builds. If you're only taking a region because of its component pieces, you no longer have to worry about that. You can just take the region that you actually want the drop from. Definitely a nice one to have. Let me know in the comments what you think about it and leave a like on the video if you haven't already and you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button too so you don't miss any of the future content I have here on the channel, including all the future reveals that are still to come. That's going to be all from me. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.